All right, guys, it's about time we get a little bit nerdy and a little bit technical about what goes on behind the scenes in Muse and talk about how to implement different types of code, uh, specifically for this tutorial, uh, jQuery code. And uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with jQuery, uh, jQuery is a JavaScript library that allows you to do things in JavaScript without writing as much code. And what's really cool is Adobe Muse automatically includes the jQuery library so we can call to it and we can use it and a lot of times you find like a block of code on the internet like this uh, maybe on like a forum talking about how do I do this how do I do that and uh, the dead giveaway when you find jQuery code is usually starts with a dollar sign I think it always starts with a dollar sign to be honest uh, so if you find something like this and you try to insert HTML in Muse uh, you'll find it doesn't work and it's a it's a little bit frustrating because uh, if you read the Muse documentation, they tell you we include uh, jQuery, so you can use jQuery. It's good to go. The problem is jQuery gets included in the HTML document at the very very end. So when you include a snippet of jQuery code and it goes looking for jQuery, um, jQuery hasn't been loaded yet when your code gets run. Uh, so jQuery has to be run after the very very end of the website and unfortunately if you go to the bottom and you try to put your code at the very very end uh, that's not good enough which is why I created that jQuery injector widget that you guys have probably seen on museresources.com if you haven't seen it it looks a little something like this so if you go download that jQuery injector you can pop jQuery into your page it goes into the right place and it works so let me show you an example of what's actually going on here um, I'm gonna start by copying this code that I have here this jQuery code Command C, because I'm on a Mac, Control C if you're on a PC, and I'm going to go to Object, Insert HTML, and what you'll find is if I just paste that in there the way it is and hit OK, it's going to show up as text. It's just going to be a block of text. Uh, let's see where that ended up. It ended up down here. Now the reason for that is uh, jQuery and JavaScript needs to be uh, written in a script tag. So uh, let me go in and edit this HTML. I can do a right click there, edit HTML, and it needs to start and end with script. So <laughs> let me mute my volume here. Let's go and add script. And then we'll go down to the bottom here and we will close the script. And now it's considered functional JavaScript. The problem is, like I said before, uh, this functional JavaScript is happening before jQuery gets loaded. So I'm actually going to show you guys uh, what that looks like in the code. And uh, by the way, that code was to disable right clicking. So if I right click on the page, you can see that it's not working. It's definitely not working because I can see the little contextual menu pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Option and Command and press the letter I in Safari. This works in Safari, it works in Chrome, works in Firefox. It opens up this thing called the Web Inspector, which shows you the code. So, uh, Option Command I, that would be uh, Control Alt I on a PC instead of Option Command I. And if we look down here, if we go to the very, very end of all of this HTML, uh, you can see here that this is where all of our content is for our page. I mean, this kind of expands out and out and out. All the contents here, our widget, our HTML widget that I popped in there is going to be in this area up here because this is where all of our content is for our page. And then at the very, very end, there are all these JavaScript includes where you'll find jQuery. So jQuery is getting called down here, but our code's trying to run up here before jQuery even exists. Uh, within the document because everything gets loaded in order so think of it like you guys can probably relate to this you pull out Siri you hold or you pull out your iPhone you're trying to talk to Siri you hold your home button and you say something and Siri uh, doesn't hear the beginning of it or Siri doesn't get it because you spoke too early that's essentially what's going on here uh, so you're saying give me directions to the nearest gas station and it's just hearing a ass station you know <laughs> at the very end with my luck ass station so let's close this and let's go and get that HTML or I'm sorry in this case that jQuery put in the right place so I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna grab my jQuery injector I'm gonna drag it in drop it and it comes up with a box for me to paste in my jQuery code what's cool about this and it tells you right here don't worry about opening or closing the script all we need to do is just paste in the jQuery we don't need to open the script we don't have to do the the brackets and the script and all that um, it's going to do that automatically and it's going to put it in the right place so it talks to the jQuery library that's included by Muse. So now that I've got that pasted in there, I'm, I'm done. All I had to do is paste it in there and now I can preview this in the browser. 
and I'll try to right click and you'll notice now it's working because it comes after the jQuery include in the code. So let's go and take a look at that. I'm going to go Option Command I again, pull up the web inspector. And if we go down to the bottom, here's that jQuery include at the very, very end. And then if we look further down, oh, what's this? HTML code widget. That's where it got put. So it got put underneath all the JavaScript includes because that's what this widget does. It puts it in the right place at the very, very end. And in case you guys are wondering why is jQuery included at the end, you may see on some pages it's, it's included at the very top, it's included in the head of the page. Uh, the reason for that is jQuery takes a little bit of time to load and uh, your web browser has to familiarize itself in a way with the entire code library before anything fancy can happen using that code library. Uh, so in terms of priority, uh, the web browser would typically want to show the user the content first before it starts dealing with any of that technical stuff, before it starts dealing with animations and rollovers and things like that. You just got to get the content in front of the people because they're going to look at it for a moment before they start interacting. So the best thing for the user or the viewer of the website is load all the content up here first, then load the jQuery library and all the other JavaScript libraries, all the fancy stuff, because uh, you can't see when those are loading. They're, they're just loading functionality, essentially. They're not loading uh, visuals, necessarily. Sometimes, you know, it ties into visuals. Uh, but that gets uh, loaded next. And then after that, we can run our functions that use that JavaScript and uh, JavaScript libraries, essentially. So now you guys have a better idea of how Muse puts this code together. It does all your HTML first, including your widgets. Um, your, your insert HTML widgets and then it includes all the JavaScript libraries and then uh, depending on the widget that you've downloaded from museresources.com uh, that widget may insert stuff at the very very end like this so uh, now rather than finding a widget that does exactly what you want it to do you can grab your own or write your own jQuery and you can pop it in the right place by using this widget I don't recommend writing or editing code in this little window Muse doesn't really accommodate that in these little windows very well. Uh, for instance, if you hit return, uh, it just goes away. <laughs> it doesn't actually let you insert a line break here, which is a bummer. Uh, hopefully they improve that in the future. So you'll probably want to use your own text editor and then copy and paste from that text editor uh, into here. That, that's probably going to work out a lot better. But the bottom line is you use the jQuery injector and your code goes in the right place. jQuery will work. If you insert HTML uh, arbitrarily by just going to object insert HTML, uh, it will not work. Not unless you include your own jQuery library in the head, but then you're messing up page load times, you're loading jQuery twice, don't do that. Just use the jQuery injector and life will be good. And it's free, free download from museresources.com. Go get it, and once you get it, uh, I'm sure you'll like it if you're a code nerd, and uh, especially if you're writing your own JavaScript and you just want it to go into the right place. So cool. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys are not code nerds, you will enjoy the next tutorial a lot more. We'll talk about the full screen YouTube video background um, that is currently available free. It's one of the newer uh, free downloads that went up two weeks ago on museresources.com. So enjoy this cool stuff and I'll have more tutorials coming soon.